Greetings, and thank you for joining me on my box opening video today. We are opening a Doll Chateau Zavira doll. She is a tiny or USD doll that stands about 30 centimeters in height, and I ordered her in gray skin. I noticed that the envelopes that they provide are now made of hard cardstock instead of a thinner paper material. However, the envelope still has that white pearly sheen. And I also love the fact that Doll Chateau switched to these metal certificates of authenticity. They're quite unique. I love this picture card that they send with their dolls. The artwork is just gorgeous. And here we see a majestic brown turd giving birth to a majestic bubble wrap baby. Vera has a proper eight legs, while her MSD counterpart Elizabeth had only six legs. I also want Elizabeth too, but they've discontinued her, so I'm gonna have to find her secondhand on the marketplace somewhere. Severa is now one of the few tiny dolls I own. I usually don't get tiny dolls because they're a bit uh, too fiddly, I guess you can say. And I don't like their tininess. <laughs> as odd as that sounds. I like dolls with more presence. And she is most definitely the most expensive tiny doll that I will probably ever own. Crap, she's terrifying from this angle. That's gonna give me nightmares later. Well, Severa has eight legs, but it doesn't look like she's going to be able to stand on her own. She is definitely going to need some support. And here we have three different resins from three different companies. We have the Sum Euclase Talon, which is in Sum Gray. Then we have the Resin Sultane, which is also in Light Gray. And then we have Dol Chateau Zavira in Gray. Zavira is the lightest, Sum is the darkest, and of course Resin Sol is the middle grade. Her back joint right here that is jointed it moves this part is glued um, that's all one piece and her spinneret thing it seems to be like an s-hook joint so it moves as well and that's all for now and as always thank you for watching